Around a month ago as of making this video, there's been some drama involving these two YouTubers that I want to talk about. Now this video isn't like my normal videos where I joke around as these allegations are pretty serious and may be disturbing to some viewers, so viewer discretion is advised. Now firstly, let's talk about the two main people involved with this drama. The first person is Lucas Plays, who is currently 16 to 17 years of age. He has 31,000 total subscribers on YouTube and is well known for making content on FNAF and Roblox. The second person is Black Crow, who I'll be referring to as Ninja, as that's his current YouTube display name. He currently sits at 400 subscribers and is around 15 years of age, even though that he claimed that he was 16. There is also a victim in this situation who I won't mention for privacy reasons, so they will go by red in this video. Finally, we have my two friends, Gus and Cam, who helped with getting all of this information. That's all for the people involved in this drama, so now let's get into the allegations. Before July of 2022, Lucas and Ninja were close friends and both enjoyed each other's company. However, something changed in Ninja around July of 2022 when he became extremely intimate with Lucas and Red. Ninja would ask if Lucas could send them pictures of his belly button, which of course Lucas refused to give. After that failed, Ninja would ask Red for pictures of them in a swimsuit and Red also refused to give such pictures to Ninja. After we all confronted him about it, we didn't think too much of it after. Fast forward to two years later in the exact same month, however, we would see a side of Ninja that absolutely no one expected. This is where the disgusting acts start to take place, so now's a good time to click off this video if you can't handle such topics. Ninja would be brought to a group chat with me, Lucas, Cam, and Red. Ninja starts off by saying he beat up a 5 year old for making fun of a plushie he had with him. It's also worth noting that Ninja bases his entire personality on Flippy from the very violent series known as Happy Tree Friends. Whether he actually did this or not still isn't confirmed, but it's most likely untrue and he was just trying to say that for attention. He then proceeded to ask Lucas if he could get a hold of Red and give Ninja pictures of them in a swimsuit, meaning he still wasn't done being a completely weird person. Ninja then says to Lucas that he touched a private part of Red in real life, which again is not 100% confirmed, but it is confirmed for a fact that Ninja and Red knew each other in real life at some point. However, the situation doesn't end there. Lucas would try and see what would happen if he gave what Ninja was asking for all this time. He sent Ninja a picture of a person's belly button from Google, but Ninja responds in one of the most disgusting ways I've seen him respond to something. He shows a video of his private part with a certain liquid leaking out if you know what I mean. Now, I think it's safe to say that Ninja is, at the very least, a really weird and disturbing person that should not be talked to under any circumstances. He sent a video of his private part to people who are at least the age of 14, and although it's near a two-year age gap, it's still extremely gross and vile of someone to do something like that. He also says that he has PTSD, most likely from losing both of his parents, which is most likely confirmed because he's talked about it in the past. Now, I can definitely understand that losing your parents is never a good thing unless the parents were abusing you, however it doesn't excuse the fact that he did lots of weird acts to minors and was being extremely weird about it. This could also be him basing his whole personality on Flippy who does indeed have PTSD from the show. Before I close the main topic of the video off, Ninja then tries to call me out for doing bad stuff even though he has no proof of it and what Ninja has done is substantially worse as opposed to what I could have done according to him. That's about everything I have to share about this situation. If any updates about Ninja come out, I'll be sure to inform you guys about it. I'd also like to apologize about how long it's taken me to make this video, and I hope to start giving you guys reliable dates for my videos. Anyways, thank you all for watching this video, and remember that this video is not intended for any hate or harassment to anyone mentioned in this video, as this is just me documenting the entire situation. Again, a huge thank you to everyone who helped call Ninja out for his horrific actions, and I'll see you guys in the next video.